Kenya had set ablaze a huge stockpile of ivory and rhino horns, the biggest ivory barn in world history. Kenya says it wants to highlight the poaching crisis and put it beyond economic use. Clementine Logan reports. More than a hundred tons of ivory and rhino horn up in flames. These pyres represent 6,000 elephants. Their tusks reclaimed from illegal poaching over three decades. This is the largest ivory burn in history. In keeping with a tradition which started with Kenya's first burn in 1989, President Uhuru Kenyatta has pledged to put ivory beyond economic use. There are indications that our elephant numbers are recovering. That is only the more reason to aggressively protect the survivors of this horrific war and to do all that we can to ensure that never again will our elephants be attacked in this way. You know, Gabon is the uh, home of today of uh, more than uh, half of surviving forest elephants despite having uh, lost over the last uh, 10 years more than uh, 10,000 elephants. But even in Gabon, the value of a forest elephant ivory has sparked an alarming increase in poaching. Poaching has turned elephants into refugees. But with a street value of over $150 million, some say the stockpile should have been sold, the money put towards conservation. Kenya says that by destroying the tusks and horn, it's telling the world that Africa's elephants and rhino are worth more alive. Once the flames die down, Kenya and other African countries besieged by poachers face the task of bringing the continent's elephants back from the brink. They'll need to tackle corruption and stem demand. Kenya says it will also reiterate its call for a total ivory ban at September's International Wildlife Trade Conference in South Africa and that this burn sends a strong and somber message to the world that Kenya's wildlife is not for sale. Clementine Logan, CCTV in Nairobi National Park.